Hello and welcome to the Learn Learn tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can take your Tinkercad designs and add them into a CoSpaces world just like this one so you can view them on the computer or if you've got a VR headset you can view them in VR. Okie dokie, so let's get started. So here's my design of my boat that I've made. There we go. And the first thing I need to do is in, uh, when I transfer it from Tinkercad to CoSpaces I need to make sure that it is the right way around. And the way we do that is we turn it 90 degrees uh, so that the front is facing away from the work plane here. You can see the work plane. The, the back of the boat is touching the work plane and it's orientated um, as if the work plane was vertical like that. Okay, you can see how it is. Okay, so there's our boat. What we do now is we click on export and we choose everything in the design because we want all of it there and we click on OBJ. It will then download the model. There we go, brilliant. And we take it to our CoSpaces, uh, our CoSpaces CoSpace. Let's just add some water. Uh, yes, we've got a water environment. We go to upload, 3D models, click on upload and choose your download. There we go. And now it appears down here, it says Tinker. And we just drag that here and you can see it's dragged in. It's a little bit big. So we'll just make it a bit smaller and it's also under the water. So we'll just pull that up out of the water. So now if we click on play, you can see that we have a boat. There we go. There's my boat. If I'll just move him out of the way of the camera, otherwise I'm stuck. There we go. And there's my boat. Good. And that's as hard as it is in pouring it in from Tinkercad. If you want to make the boat flare, sail around the sea, all you need to do is go to library, go to special, drag in a path. Let's make that a bit bigger. Now these nodes of the path here, you can just drag them wherever you want. Let's make my path nice and big. There we go. Nice big path, however you want it to sail around on whatever path you're going to sail it around on. There's the start of the path, so I'll move my boat there and I'll rotate him the other way around so that he'll start the right way around. That's good. I'll make him a bit smaller actually as well. It's a little bit big. There we go. And then what we do is in order to animate it, we need to click here. Click on the name of your model, which is probably Tinker, on these dots. Change it so it says use in code blocks so we can code it. And then click code, code blocks. When start clicked, I'll do a forever loop so it just keeps on sailing. And all we need to do is we need to get it to walk around the path. So go to transform and we'll just go follow the path. There we at. There we go. That's it hiding. <laughs> there we go. Forgot where it's hiding there. There you go. So move and change that from Tinker on the path round path. Change it to about 30 seconds or a bit longer. And now if we click play, you'll see that it's almost there, but it's at the moment it's sailing under the water, which is not much use. So what we do there instead is we need to just click on our path and lift our path up. There we go. You'll have to experiment with the path to see how high you need to move it. That's looking a bit, oh, looking a bit better. Let's move it up a bit higher. Let's try that. Oh, nearly there, but we're still floating. Let's just move it up a little bit higher. There we go, and that should be about right. And there you go. So there you have a boat that is floating around in the CoSpaces world. Thank you very much.